Our vacation is cancelled because of your stinky dog. <laughs> Why lose Christmas in the Canary Islands and spend money on surgery for this wreck that is going to die soon anyway? Honey, we will definitely go there. But first, we need to cure Molly. Of course, because you love that dog more than me. While John was worried about his faithful friend, Sarah hoped for the worst outcome. The surgery ended and the doctor came to the couple. Molly will be fine, but for now she needs constant care. I'm so happy that you're with me. Damn, when will she die? John took care of Molly, but he couldn't be at home all the time. One day, Sarah saw an opportunity to get rid of her competitor for good. Get ready, you're going on a trip. She put Molly in the back of the car and took her to such a remote forest that even a healthy dog would never be able to return home. Don't whimper. Yes, I'm leaving you. But it's better for everyone, especially for me. With these words, Sarah kicked Molly out. And she left with a smile on her face. When she returned, she packed the dog's stuff in the box and threw everything with pleasure. In the evening, John returned. Where is Molly? Honey, she died. Huh, but... To ease your pain, I buried her myself and got rid of her stuff. It took John a long time to recover. But as soon as he calmed down a little, Sarah packed her stuff and reminded him of the canneries. The only road to the airport was through the forest where she left Molly. Passing by it, Sarah was on pins and needles. But they passed the forest and Molly wasn't there. Sarah breathed a sigh of relief. Suddenly, John noticed something. Molly? What are you talking about? She's dead! Tenacious creature! John was pulling up to the side of the road, but Sarah wasn't ready to reveal her lies. Your mutt is not there! We're late! She grabbed the wheel and turned left. John turned right again. Due to the winter slush, the car spun, flew off the road and turned over. The battery caught fire because of the hits, which slowly started covering the car. John and Sarah were unconscious, but faithful Molly was already there to help. She started licking John's face, but he didn't come to his senses. Molly tried to get him out, but it was all in vain. Then she ran out to the road and started barking at passing cars. But nobody stopped. Molly desperately rushed to the center of the road, risking her life to save John. 
the very first car stopped and Sarah and John were saved. They came to their senses in the hospital. And Molly was happily running around John. I'm so glad you lied to me. John, this creature brings us nothing but trouble. We need to get rid of it. Leave it already. I was going to. John took Molly in his arms and walked towards the exit. It's all over between us. Loyal friends will always help you find the right way out of any situation. <laughs>